Hello, this is Atubo and Gloria George, and we are so excited to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now, before we go on, on this broadcast, can we call for our daily bread? You know, God commanded us to do so. So can we call for our daily bread right now? Join us in faith. Now, when we declare these words, believe what you say. Jesus said you believe that whatsoever that you say will come to pass. You shall have whatsoever you say. So if you believe with us right now, can you make this declaration without conviction in your heart? Say, Father, Father I, receive from you I receive from you my daily bread. My daily bread. Today, Today, it's coming to me now. It's coming to me now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Now, we've been talking about family matters. Yes. Now, everything that has to do with the family, we're trusting the Spirit of God for grace to touch Seven. different Seven. things. And then, and then we, we thank God for the testimonies that have been coming in so far. And we also want to ask if you have a question or something you, you believe we should address while you're listening to us, can you see, kindly send us a message? And either we'll take a day or a few days to answer those questions, or somehow um, we'll trust the Spirit of God in the message. Um, those, those questions will be dealt with or the answers will be given. So, so don't hesitate to bring our attention to those things. Because we, we try to be as practical as possible in everything that we're talking about because we know we're not just preaching over your heads. We are telling you real truth. And real truth is practicable. Praise God. Now, we, we were talking last week about mistakes. You know, when, when people make mistakes, how you know our text is from genesis chapter 18 you know when god said concerning abraham will i hide from abraham and then the point there is god said concerning abraham i know him and he will command his children and his household after him so god was interested in abraham com com uh, commanding now that commanding doesn't mean shouting it means giving clear direction, you know, causing everyone to go in a particular direction. It's like saying, this man commands so much respect. Yeah. It doesn't mean he comes in and says, everybody, if you don't respect me. No, it, it means his attitude, his actions, his words will cause you to respect him. So when God says, Abraham will command his household after him, he wasn't talking that he will force all of them to go to church. <laughs> no. You see, he will, his life, his action, his, his everything about him will compel you or will, will just cause you to keep the ways of the Lord. So, you know, we talked about how Haggai, we, we find Haggai and then we find, find Eliza. We, we find them keeping the way of the Lord also. And, and they got blessed. They got blessed for it. Praise God. Amen. Now, there's something in your in your spirit you want to share with us today. Go ahead, please. Okay. Um, we talked about how that mistakes are properly handled when the wife is submitted to God. Yeah. And the husband is also submitted to God. Because it's the word of God that justifies. It's the word of God that is truth. Let's, please turn with me to John. Let's go to John. Chapter 17. I love that. Chapter of the Bible. <laughs> you know what I call it? I call it the holiest communication. <laughs> the holiest, because this is Jesus talking, talking to his father. He wasn't preaching about his father. He was talking to his father. Such a holy moment. Okay, Seventeen. Yeah. Where are you now? Sanctify them by your truth. That's John seventeen seventeen. Sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. When you are guided in truth, 
you have submitted yourself to truth, you'll be able to judge every situation yeah. in truth and not in a lie. And not by emotions. Yeah. Because most most times we are so clouded by emotions that you know we act based on the surface, you know, without sitting back and allowing the word of God to guide our actions. our actions. When especially, you know, it's so easy when things are going all smooth. I love you, I love you, you know, but when once there is a challenge most times it takes it has to take a conscious effort as a child of god for you to remember that you are under authority you know we, we there was something we talked about last week when you realize you've made a mistake mm. don't try to, to use your own wisdom by yourself to fix that mistake yes submit to the lord first what comes to mind is Esau. You remember Esau? Mm. When you read his story, you feel so much pity. And it will take the wisdom of God to recognize that his problem was purely poor decision making. Mm. Now, in Genesis chapter 28, his father called Jacob, that's Isaac, mm. called Jacob, mm. and gave him specific instructions. Yeah. I said, look, don't marry from among the daughters of Canaan. And by then, Esau had married from the daughters of Canaan. The Bible said they were a trouble mm. to his parents. Yes. Now, Isaac called Jacob and said, don't marry from this place. But rather, I think we should look at it because okay. it's important we see this. Oh, if we, if, I, I think this is very important when we're talking about dealing with mistakes. Genesis chapter 28. Because you were just saying something now that dealing with these things must be from the place of truth. Now watch this. Genesis 28 from verse 1. Okay. I'm going to read so fast because of time. It says, but, but you just need to get this. And Isaac called Jacob and blessed him. And charged him mm. and said unto him, Thou shalt not take a wife of the daughters of Canaan. Now look at what's next. Arise, go to Pandanaram, Pandan Pandanaram, yeah. to the house of Betuel, thy mother's father, and take thee a wife from thence of the daughters of Laban, thy the mother's father. brother. And God Almighty bless thee and make thee fruitful and multiply thee that thou mayest be a multitude of people. Now look at verse 4. And give thee the blessing of Abraham. Give the blessing of Abraham to thee and to thy seed with thee. And thou that and that that thou mayest inherit the land wherein thou hast been a stranger. Now look at verse 6. Of course, verse 5 says Jacob obeyed and yeah. he was on his way. Look at verse 6. When Esau saw that Isaac had blessed Jacob and sent him away to Panda Naram to take him a wife from thence, and that he blessed him, and that as he blessed him, he gave him a charge, saying, Thou shalt not take a wife of the daughters of Canaan. Now, he had already married one of the daughters of Canaan. Watch this. And that Jacob obeyed his father and mother and was gone to Pandanaram. And Esau, seeing that the daughters of Canaan pleased not Isaac, his father, then Esau went unto Ishmael and took unto the, took, and took unto the wives which he had. Mahad, Mahalat, the daughter of Ishmael, Abraham's son, the sister of Nab Nabojot, Nabojot, all these wonderful names, <laughs> to be his That's wife. Right. In addition to the wives he had. Hmm. Now, Esau realized he had made a mistake. Because hmm. now, if he didn't know before, 
Now his head is father. But the father was clear in his instruction to Jacob. Jacob. That, that's why the Bible says, see, God is not confused or, or he's not unrighteous. Now, sometimes, you know, we have like, look, the, the, the word of God or God already said, um, Jacob, have I loved. Esau, I have hated. No. But you see, God will never force you to make decisions. No, he won't. No matter any prophecy, I want you to listen to this. No matter what prophecy have been given in your life, this is the principle of life. The Bible says, time and, and chance, chance happens. happens to everybody. See, if a prophecy, if anyone have given you a prophecy that you will be blessed, that blessing is not going to come just because the it person gave yes. the, that prophecy. Yeah. That blessing is going to come because of the decisions you make when time and chance that happens is. to you. Yes. Same also if someone have pro if someone prophesies that look you will be you will be silly you will be a nothing in life. That's not going. No yoke is going to be placed on you to make you nothing in life. Mm -hmm. For you to be nothing in life, it's got to be by your, your own actions. decision. Yes. And that's why the scriptures tells us, guard your heart with your all diligence. diligence. Because out of your heart are the issues of life. Do you know the truth? Even if God tells you you are going to die tomorrow. Halabrakiya <laughs> Even him. Ah, you know, sometimes you say, hey, be careful what you say about God. Even him cannot bring that prophecy to pass without your impute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He would need you to confess it. He would need you to agree accept. with it, that's accepted it. Yes. And you begin to see how you're not going to live beyond tomorrow. Yeah. And guess what's going to happen? You will still make a wrong decision about what's going to kill you. But if you, you read this thing, Hezekiah, yeah. was to set your house in order for you will surely die. die. That was God that spoke. Mm -hmm. But this man said, no, mm -hmm. I refuse to die. Mm -hmm. And God said, he refused to die. Okay. He added more years to him. Say, okay, 15 years. Mm -hmm. Maybe in 15 years time, he will agree to that. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you that. It is your decisions that will bring you life or death. death. Yes. Your decisions. Mm -hmm. So you find Esau. Clearly, he was shown the right thing to do. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm there. I, I'm married already, right? Mm. And I realize that I married wrong for whatever reason. Now I'm seeing my dad. This guy has nice stolen man. my blessing. Already. This guy has stolen, um, he's stolen the blessing. Right. Stolen yeah, the, right. the bride, the, the oh, bride, right. the bad right. <laughs> <laughs> and now, that is giving him a clear instruction and telling him where to go and marry. And the daddy said, marry of the daughters of Laban. Meaning Laban, the dad knew that Laban had more than one daughter. If I was Esau, I said, all right. Jacob, when are you going to, you know, Panda and Naram? Um, tomorrow morning, tonight, I will take off <laughs> and go to the house of Laban. I said, this is where it pleased me. But guess what he did? He knew he had made a mistake. But in correcting the mistake, he went another. The Bible said he went to take off the daughters of Ishmael. Mm. He didn't, I don't think he even wanted to correct the mistake. He, 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 just, he just felt that, went. okay, since these people. They are not happy with my choice. So let me, so let me take another choice. Mm. Negative. It was his decision. Meanwhile, look at God's faithfulness. Laban had two daughters. Meaning in Laban's house, there was provision for Esau and, and Jacob to get married. And I believe somehow Esau would have restored the blessing in his life. Even though the prophecy would still have been fulfilled in Jacob, in Jacob Esau too would have enjoyed God's goodness and God's blessing. 
but he totally lost favor with God. Not because of that prophecy. It was truly because of his decision. And that's because his decision was not guided by truth. It wasn't guided by truth. Just like our own decision is guided by truth now because our time is up. Praise God. So we have to decide to end, right? <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, listen, I just, I just love what we're doing right now. And thank you. Thank you too. Thank you. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Father, we, we, we just bless everyone listening and watching right now. Jesus. I declare your heart to be so full of truth Amen. that you will not make wrong decisions mm -hmm. in your life. Amen. Even when you have realized you've made a mistake, I pray that the Holy Spirit will help you. Amen. And that you will learn to run to the Lord and not make another mistake in trying to correct the one you have. Mm -hmm. May this be your portion. Amen. Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We'll see you again tomorrow. Until then, bye. bye.